Hi, I'm Madeline Martin. And as a visual artist, I'd like to say that close observation and attention to detail is one way that I practice devotion. The care and the time that I put into my work in portraits is like an offering. It's a form of praise and reverence for the lives of people in our community. The work that I do is very much a physical labor of love. Everything is handmade. It's hand stitched, hand cut, hand drawn, hand painted, and even sometimes the paper is handmade. Beyond community members, my work features my own family and children, keeping in the tradition of feminist artist mothers who use their work as a space for reflection and to make visible the often invisible labor of women and mothers. Also, I utilize techniques that were handed down from my ancestors. My grandmother died this past year, but every day she's present to me when I sew because we both were, I am, a stitcher. My hands, which have the same curves as hers, utilize embroidery and Sharon Schnitt, which is German for scissor cuts. Sharon Schnitt is a German folk art that uses elaborate designs and silhouettes in paper cutting. So from those familial techniques, the work has emerged to serve the greater community, I hope. Those familial techniques led me to honor Milwaukee homicide victims with embroidery. Those familial techniques led me to create paper cut silhouettes of incarcerated women in Wisconsin. And ultimately, I am partnering with the Demeter Foundation in Madison, a nonprofit. Um, we'll be exhibiting artwork poems and stories created by women in Wisconsin's prisons and jails, all because of devotion. But the greatest theme of my work is that you matter. Every life matters. Everyday people and everyday moments deserve witness to promote their worth and dignity. My work aims to take what is too easily minimized and make large, turn up the volume on devotion as a state of absolute potential much like the possibilities that lie before the families in my work. Um, in much of my work, there's something I refer to as intergenerational reciprocity. It's a give and a take between the young and the old, the dead and the living. Um, in one particular portrait of my colleague and her daughter and her son, I used patient applications of watercolor paint. The, cha the changes on the paper were slow and gradual until eventually the figures emerged. The work becomes, it grows. It allows through quiet power to assert the force of connection and compassion. Thank you so much for listening.